everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. So this is saying find the first five terms of this sequence, and it looks like it's a recursive sequence. And I say that because here's my current term, a sub n, and it's based on uh, previous term, a sub n minus 1. And they did give us a starting point. They said start with 1. So if I want the first five terms, that's great. I do know a sub 1 is 1. And that will not allow me to eliminate any of the answers because they all say 1 here, which is fine. So let's see what a sub 2 would be equal to. All right, so a sub 2, according to this, all right, if there is a 2 here, it's going to go here and here. So this is going to be 2 squared over a sub 2 minus 1. So I'm going to have a 4 in the numerator. And then if I look at that subscript, 2 minus 1 is 1. So I'll have a sub 1, which we knew we were given it was 1. So a sub 2 is 4. So let's look at a sub 2. As I look at these options, they're all 4. So again, I can't eliminate anything, which is fine. I'm just going to go find a sub 3 now. Oops, there we go. All right, so a sub 3, and let me go back to my original formula here. If I have a 3 in this position, it's going to go there in my numerator and there in my denominator. So a sub 3 is going to be 3 squared over a sub 3 minus 2. All right, that numerator is going to be 9. If I look at that denominator, that subscript, 3 minus 2 is 1. Oops, excuse me. You know what? I just realized that is a typo. This shouldn't say 3 minus 2. I didn't use my own formula, right? It's right here. It's 3 minus 1. And that subscript now, a sub 3 minus 1, that's really a sub 2. Because, again, current term depends on your previous term. All right, so as I go through this, that is going to leave me with 9 over 4. All right, so at this point... I can rule out this one, right? Because it says the third term is 9 16 and that's not correct. And I will go find a sub 4, but now as I look at the other three options, they all have different answers, which is great. That means I'm going to be able to determine which of B, C, and D are the correct answer just off of a sub 4. I won't actually need to find the fifth term. I can if I want, but I won't need to. All right, so let's go ahead and pull or run this through. If the 4 is here, it's going to go here. And here, so a sub 4 is going to be 4 squared over a sub 4 minus 1. So that's going to be 16 over a sub 3. And that's going to be 16 divided by 9 fourths, which is 16 times 4 ninths. And when I look at that, that would give me 64 over 9. And when I look for 64 over 9, sure enough, there's the only one with 64 over 9. And that's going to be my answer. Now, you're more than welcome to do a sub 5. Right? And I'll, I'll tell you, you'll get 225 over 64. It's just not needed because we already know that answer. All right?